After the tragedy in Oklahoma, Itari became stronger as a person and built a brilliant career in the United States. She was a gorgeous artist. Itari Tutbridge's youth is full of incredible events. She survived a terrible terrorist attack in the United States, a nightmare that became a turning point in her fate. After him, Tutbridge became stronger as a person and built an amazing career in ice shows, shining on American ice for several years. Thanks to her natural beauty and grace, coupled with hard work and proven skill, she received leading roles that brought her unprecedented success. But this bright adventure could not last forever, later Terry chose coaching. And I did not lose. In her new field, Tutbridge achieved unprecedented success, making a real revolution and forever entering the history of figure skating. It is no wonder that against a background of such a resounding success, her former achievements were lost. But they are also worthy of attention, as is the entire biography of Tutbridge. We tell and show what kind of figure skater Terry was in her youth. Tutbridge went on tour in the USA in the fall of 1994, when it became very difficult for her to stay in sports purely financially. The young girl was offered to perform as part of the Russian ballet on ice, and she agreed. Then Tutbridge could not imagine how difficult the first months of life overseas would be. At first, problems with the documents of some of the skaters forced the rest, including Itari, to train for a whole month without a salary. There wasn't even enough money for food. They went to the Baptist churches for lunch, where after the service they brought sandwiches and water to the parishioners. When the whole group finally gathered, the American company terminated the contract due to the violation of a number of conditions by the Russians. They settled the athletes in the shelter of the Youth Christian Association of Oklahoma and left them to wait for the resolution of the next twists and turns. The most terrible thing happened on April 19, 1995, a car bomb exploded near the federal building, opposite which this shelter was located. Tutbirds and the entire troop were caught in the epicenter of one of the largest terrorist attacks in the United States. That morning I went downstairs to wash, looked at the clock 9.04. Explosion. A terrible roar. The heaviness of the blast wave. Deathly silence. And in human screams, I don't know how I ended up on the street. 1. Apparently, it took a long time to get out, the walls were torn apart. All the guys were taken away. They shouted about the second bomb. People ran, and I just stood there. I looked lost, in slates, with a towel, a toothbrush, a fireman ran up, grabbed his arm, dragged him along. For half a day, as if in a delirium, I wandered after him, while he checked the destroyed premises, Tutbirds told about the day of the terrorist attack in Oklahoma. However, this nightmare was a turning point in the fate of Terry and the starting point of her ascent in America. After the terrible tragedy, Tutbirds and her partner Nikolai Apter were sheltered in their family by the same firefighter who saved her, Nubine. He also played another significant role in her life, he helped restart her career in the USA. Bain called Ice Capades, one of the best companies specializing in ice shows, and recommended a Terry and Nikolai to them. They were not taken immediately, it was necessary to go through a kind of casting, send a video on which they perform paired elements. Bain did not stand aside here either. He provided his camera for filming and played the role of a personal operator of Russian figure skaters. The video turned out great. The organizers of Ice Capades appreciated Tutbirds and Apter and invited them to Cincinnati, where the ice show was based. After receiving $1,200 in compensation, like all the victims of the terrorist attack, Itari and his partner decided to buy a car. Naturally, they did not have enough money for a new one, so they bought a used car that requires serious repairs. He was put in order by a firefighter who came to the rescue again. Bain turned out to be a jack of all trades. Finally, the skaters left Oklahoma and went to meet a new life and work in Cincinnati. It was a long way, 1,200 kilometers separated the two cities. Already on the spot, Itari learned an important nuance of her future performances. She had to do a backflip and skates through Nikolai. This acrobatic element was a mandatory clause of her contract, but, fortunately, she could not worry about anything with Apter. He easily coped with such tasks. Thank God, Kalia could do everything. He worked in the Russian ballet, through guys, 
What could we say about the partner? At one time, Apter skated at the Velikovs with Elena Nikonova. He had a reputation as a strong partner. Kalia had a palm the size of a stool. It was not difficult to make the whole top for him, any support, Tutbirds recalled. From that day, the rise of Atari's career in ice shows began. For four years she shone in America and did not worry about her finances. As an artist for ice shows, Itari Tutbirds was perfect, a spectacular slender brunette invariably attracted the attention of the public. External data on this stage is very important, only in this case the stage was replaced by ice. But Itari was not famous for her beauty alone. Although she finished competing early, she now demonstrated the skills she had gained over the years in show productions. And this is not by chance, among her coaches in the past were Elena Tchaikovsky and Tatyana Tarasova. However, the latter at that time was too focused on the preparation for the Olympic Games of the Klimov, Panamarenko pair and did not pay special attention to another pupil. This, by the way, partly also prompted Tutbirds to leave for America later. In that Olympic year, Tatyana and Adelyevna gave all her strength to the Klimov Panamarenko pair. Something had to be done. When I received an offer to go to America for a show, I agreed, Tutbirds shared. As for the former partners of Atari, the most curious among them is Ilya Averbik. She met him when she was training at CSKA, but their paths and sports quickly diverged. Atari and I even skated together in ice dancing. However, even then she was taller than me. She keeps reminding me that I said I wouldn't ride with her. She says it herself, do you remember when we skated together? But I don't remember, this offended her even more. I remember Terry perfectly, because we trained in the same group. She was riding with another partner, I was with Marina, Anasina. We skated a lot in CSKA. We're practically from the same group. Then our roads diverged, and we didn't know about each other, Averbik said. But, as you know, everything that is done, is for the best, in a duet with Nikolai Apter, Itari traveled to many cities in the USA and made their residents happy with her bright performances. In a series of endless rehearsals and tours, she could rely on her reliable partner and feel confident when performing all sorts of tricks. Tutbird skated the main parts in ice shows. She perfectly felt what emotions needed to be conveyed in one way or another and was equally good both in the role of a fatal beauty and as a fragile gentle young lady. It was impossible to confuse her with other artists, her natural charisma made her stand out instantly. While touring the USA, Itari found many friends, and her life turned into an exciting adventure, but it could not last forever. At some point, her partner wanted a quieter job, settle down in one place and open his own business. Itari also felt that it was time to try herself in a new business, and she and Apter went into coaching. Tutbirds had an even bigger success in the coaching field. So much so that it overshadowed her career on American ice. But Tutbirds was a real star there. Very bright and very beautiful.